so one of the people that I, the, the, the Twitter guy that I had mentioned in the Chop Top video, he hit me up and he thought, he actually, he noticed it in a comment on the video. I hadn't seen the comments, but he saw something in a comment in a video that made him look into something that made him think that he found the guy that bought the, um, the auction. There's this guy that was on Facebook that had just had a lot of um, a lot of really rare Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 shit, and he had a reputation for of basically rescuing stuff from old horror films that would have gotten destroyed otherwise. But then he he got in touch with the guy, and that he was not the guy who got the uh, All American Massacre stuff, unfortunately. So we still don't know who got that stuff. And in addition to that, I had. Um, I had a guy who had been in touch with, uh, he was like a, a film industry guy who had been in touch with, uh, William Tony Hooper. Huh. Is this guy hugging my belly? I haven't seen that happen before. <laughs> um, but he had been in touch with him. And back in the day, like when the, there was like a, suppose, like something like a 40 minute version of the film made. He had seen it, and he said the effects were really good, but the film itself was kind of, like, it was kind of, like, not good quality, what he said. I said the guy was, like, a really nice guy, but, like, it just, like, it wasn't, like, that good quality. He gave him some suggestions and shit while I'm not getting finished. But then I'm thinking, because after him having told me that, I pretty much think that what happened was in those all those crowdfunding efforts, it seemed to me like... I don't know if this is true or not. This is just like my theory I'm working off now. That the reason why they would have wanted to raise those funds to to finish the movie is that they probably wanted to do some reshoots or something like that. But I don't know. That's just a theory that I have at this point. In the video, I had mentioned that um, that I had seen a theory about Jim Seidel, the guy who played Drayton Sawyer that he they were supposed to film a shot with him and then he died so they couldn't film it and i tried to find it again when i was working on the video but i couldn't find it again i think where i saw it was this instagram account that's been deleted now and the reason i say this is that there was an instagram account dedicated to the movie um and i had forgotten all about it i had come across it when i first started looking into this story and it didn't come up again after, after, like, more recently. And I got a message from the account. I don't know what the message said because by the time I opened it up, the message had been deleted. But then I looked at the Instagram account and there was just a post that said, Hey, we took everything on this account down for reasons we don't want to go into. So I don't know if they got some kind of someone from inside of the movie that was like, Hey, like, delete all this shit. Or if it was, like something personal no idea all i know is there was at some point an instagram account with tons of information about the movie on it i for, i had seen it before i forgotten about it when i made the video but everything that was on there is is basically gone 